Hey, this is Zishan and you're watching Metal Shop TV. Okay, so Ishan, uh, not a first time in Czech Republic. Yeah. Um, do you have a kind of uh, special memories or anything interesting that happened to you in here, in Czech Republic? Uh, I spent my honeymoon here 20 oh. years ago. That's, oh. that's special. So definitely. Yeah, that's of course rich. I've played uh, Brutal Assault many times, you know, um, so uh, those are good memories. Uh, where was your honeymoon, if that's not too personal? Yeah, in Prague. In Prague, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, I've got a special memory about you. The last time you played a solo show in the uh, Czech Republic at the Brutal Assault, mm -hmm. somehow happened that your uh, equipment got lost on the airport. How yeah. did that happen? That often happens when yeah. you do planes. So, um, yeah, you just have to make two, have a plan B. Okay. You brought uh, stuff from Lepros. So yeah, I guess you are good friends with them. Yes. Okay. The 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 singer Einar, he's my youngest brother-in-law. Okay. So we're family. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and, and they used to be my backing band. Yeah. Okay. And I did my first solo shows. Yeah. Okay. Um, there are a lot of musicians nowadays that tend to say that they are free to do anything, but at the end of the day, they are like they have to follow a certain pattern or uh, just listen to what their fans are saying to them. But with you, I think you are the, one of the last, like, a really free artists. Oh, because thank you. <laughs> because in the 90s, you, you had like an extreme black metal band. Right now, you've got a songs like Until I 2 Dissolve. like a hair metal uh, hair metal power metal riff that's going on yeah I, and people, I, I and people love in, it I grew up in the 80s what can I do and people love it so well, that must be so beautiful to have a, such a such a freedom to do whatever absolutely. you want absolutely and it's a, it's a huge privilege and I've been so uh, so lucky to be able to be in that position you know I uh, you know con considering the extremity of the music to have a uh, a musical career to start with uh, that was never our intention <laughs> uh, and uh, I, I like to think that um, the reason that we as Nor Norwegian musicians actually got to have uh, a career uh, was that we, we didn't do any compromises yeah you know uh, instead of trying to compete with something that was already there we we ended up uh, for some reason to carve out perhaps a little space of our own and uh, eventually like Norwegian black metal became a thing uh, and um, uh, when when starting my solo career, I think I just wanted to continue that mindset, yeah. and 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 kind of uh, really focus on that privilege to be just as honest and uncompromising in, in how I do my music, and that is kind of the most. Um, uh, if I owe you know listeners anything, you know who have been following my work and enabled me to do this. It's kind of to, to keep that uh, that same state of mind yeah. that you do it for artistic reasons and not for to try and fit it into some kind of commercial pocket, you know. I, especially people who are drawn to this style of, of of music, I think they whether conscious or not or not they, they want something that is real. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's worked so far, you know, for uh, 25 plus years <laughs> you know, well, I guess it works beautiful what, yeah what, what, why change why change now yeah you know um, well let's talk about your latest album it's mm. called Amr am I pronouncing it right yeah Amr yeah Amr well uh, I like the analogy or the or the difference how you how you've um, like like you said that the um, artist is mm. more like an outgoing record maybe mm. more positive maybe more uplifting mm -hmm. while armor is more like a uh, introspective am i right about it yeah in a, in a way uh, particularly in uh, in the scene it is set it's like the arctis is obviously placed in this arctic landscape and the metaphors of the lyrics will kind of reflect on that and build on those sceneries uh, and uh, for me this this new album you know happened very much inside 
-hmm. and so uh, that's why I wanted to do more arrangements with analog synthesis and to have that more intimate and close sound though lyrically it's probably even more far out so it's, it's kind of a juxtaposition between yeah. the the lyrics and, and the more intimate sound but yeah introspective in a, in a yeah. different way okay but I, but, I, but I always do that yeah you know since I uh, this is my first solo record I've always kind of written up a sketch work of what kind of album I wanted to create beforehand you know to to have a, a very creative focus point instead of just making a collection of 10 songs in a period of time yeah and you know uh, when you talk about Arctis, about uh, Arctic landscape and Amr, about the uh, room without the walls, mm. those are pretty specific uh, concepts. So how do you come up with that? Is it in your dreams or is it just like that? Or, or <laughs> It's hard to say, but uh, often by the time I finish one album... Is it I'll maybe something that happens in your life in that specific moment? It's probably a mix. Yeah. If, uh, you know, you, it, 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 uh, it, over time, you know, just also in uh, almost as a contrast, you could say that that uh, Ahmed is kind of a contrasting imagery, it's a contrasting kind of world, yeah. if you will, to, to Arctis and a different different space to explore. And so, so uh, yeah, the, all, all these kind of uh, you know frameworks that I work within are rather abstract, but it, they're still some you know some specific guidelines. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I also know that your wife has a say in what is gonna happen on a record or not. Is she is she like your best advisor in that? Absolutely. In those things? She's uh, she knows me so well, and she's probably also one of the few people who can kind of get through to me <laughs> when I'm stuck on uh, an idea. And, and uh, yeah, she, she, we, uh, you know, creatively and uh, yeah, on, on anything, we're very well connected, you know. And she, I trust her completely to have uh, an honest opinion about and be, you know, a, a true critic of what I do. So, so she's in, invaluable, you know, for any anything that I do in, in that respect. And she will also have, uh, like, you know, Amr the title. She, she was the one who suggested that based on. You know the the things that I presented, uh, and uh, she's always overseeing. You know all the artwork and everything yeah. that, uh, because she understands so well. You know the, the original vision I have, but then I can kind of lean on her to to, and hopefully I have a similar role for her music. You know, and is she like a real critic? Is she sometimes like? Mm. I wouldn't use it, use this or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, well, she will yeah. tell me. Yeah. And I, I would get offended, you know, <laughs> and all that. But then two weeks later, I realized she was right. And, and, and that's I guess that's it, how it should be. It should be. And and that, that's the beauty of it. You know, we, I, we, in a process like that, especially since you're just one person, you don't need someone to like stroke you with the hairs. You know, you, you need someone who are honest with you. And that is, uh, even though that is not uh, the most um, easy to hear or probably to say yeah <laughs> you know it's, it's what what's needed and that you need someone to be uh, yeah an, 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 a kind critic but still yeah. honest you know. well you've got a, a special track on your latest record uh, it's called alone it's a poem by Alan Edgar Poe mm -hmm. uh, so what is your relationship with Poe is it like a really deep no, not really. No? You know, uh, not as much as you, you could expect. And this was uh, was really a coincidence because I originally wrote uh, different lyrics for that song, and I had a very different idea. And this this is one of those moments when I presented it and I played it to Heidi, and she said, "This this is not working." And I, uh, and, you know, I had to agree. And uh, since it was such a different song. Uh, she, she suggested that why don't we try find you know someone else's words to to uh, describe you know the same thing yeah and uh, we both you know did research and it was her who came up with you know have a look at this you know and and the the poem 
you know the content the emotion of that was just perfect yeah and also actually the spacing the rhythm of the poem and everything was just perfect for the song and it was uh, it was so easy for me just to to perform it you know more like yeah, on on top of that music. And it's a beautiful poem. It works yeah, out yeah, very, yeah. Strong, very strong. Yeah, very very much so. And if I put uh, Poe and uh, Lovecraft, who would you pick? Uh, Are you into Lovecraft? And no, not really. No. So I, I probably pick Poe. Yeah. Yeah. Not into the horror sci-fi stuff. No, not really. No. Not really. I, I like Star Trek and Star Wars oh, yeah. and stuff oh, like yeah. that. But, but I I never you know the whole. Um, Cthulhu and uh, yeah, you know, that stuff. stuff. Yeah, no, I, I the the whole monster thing never really appealed to me. Uh, I was always the one who, who loved uh, the Omen. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. The more the more uh, psychological uh, bad guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was wrong about that because I thought you know, he's using Poe, so he's gonna be into that stuff, you know. Yeah, maybe I didn't research it uh, enough. You yeah. Know? Okay. Okay. Mm. Cool. Well, um, I heard that you are not into the modern metal music, not so much. It's, it's more that uh, having done, I'm, I'm a huge fan, obviously, of the classic. Me metal music as a genre. But I've spent so much time, you know, listening to that and, and uh, you know, have s such a deep love for some of, you know, albums from, from previously. And, and uh, yeah. Also, since I've recorded so many metal-related albums, I tend to, you know, turn my my focus elsewhere. Yeah. You know, for for inspiration and for new sound textures that may be more more inspiring and kind of easier to to listen to without being in that kind of work mode automatically. So so uh, it's not that I don't like new metal. It's just that I I tend to spend my time listening to all the forms of music which when where I have less experience really to and I think it's really important because when you are creating a metal music you need those outside like influences to come in to like make a better musician maybe yeah, like, well, it, more inspired it, it, for, for me that works yeah you know each to his own you know of course uh, and also you said that you like uh, one of the latest records of Kenny Kanye West yeah, which yeah. I also like. Jesus, yeah. yeah. yeah and was that an inspiration in your work? In oh any, yes, anyway? yes. And and also the bravery. And, yeah. And it's uh, well, let's be honest. As as a person, you know, the character. It's Kanye a West, asshole. <laughs> yeah, it's not really, you know, it's not the most uh, easy to empathize with. Sometimes you need to be asshole to be confident about yeah, what you. Yeah, need. exactly. But then you you cannot deny. So, but sometimes you know your your relationship to the person, you know, the artist. If uh, if they act, you know, the way you don't, you know, you, you bring that with you when you listen to the music. But in spite of that, you know, it's no denying that it's so brave. And I think the kind of megalomaniac ego yeah. that goes behind it, you know, makes it that genius. And it's so brave. You know, you, there's no commercial thought when you do an album like that. When you just scream out this lyric like, I am a god, I am a god. It's crazy. And I, and, and I love it. And I, th I have this theory that uh, that uh, the really new cr creation in music, you know, yeah. like the real genius happens in the underground where there's no money and people just do it for the artistic ambition and all the way at the top where yeah. there's so much money they don't, don't even care. They don't care. And they can do anything, you know. And there's all, all the rest in the middle who, who kind of trying try, to reach try the to, top. Try to, try to make it and do the right things yeah. and kind of do those compromises to get there and end up. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a cool thought. So um, another thing that I would like to address is uh, your project with Matt Heafy from Trivium, because I'm a big Trivium fan, mm -hmm. and I was so stoked when I heard that he's working with you. But a couple of years, it's a couple of years back. So is that a still a thing or? Absolutely, absolutely. But uh, it, you know, you can see his schedule, yeah, and I guess my schedule. So it's it's a work in progress, and and um, he's, uh, this is more. You know his his music outside of Trivium, Trivium yeah. but he wanted me to produce it because he's been okay. a fan of uh, of the more extreme sides of music, you know, for for a long time, and uh, and we we just hit it off. He's such an amazing guy, you know. So so uh, 
I think that would be a very and we our backgrounds are so different as well so it, it, it's just a project that I really hope uh, I think it will be very, very much fun to do but so I will like sending back and forth yeah. demos and uh, but if I would be more like a, a producer f for that than maybe you know chipping in but I guess he must be extreme emperor fan am I right yeah yeah I think so you know he, he I've seen him a lot with emperor t-shirts yeah yeah, so. yeah so um, speaking of emperor um, you as a black metal legend I've got to ask you You've got bands like Emperor and Dark Throne and Satyricon and, and all that. You are still like waving the flag of the black metal. But do you see maybe a new generation that's gonna come after you that can bring the black metal maybe to a new generation to listeners? Do you have like a uh, bands that you like from the new wave of black metal bands? Uh, I'm not sure if I if, if I could pick out something again. That's probably just ignorance from turning my attention elsewhere. Yeah. But. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to, you know, if it's something new and interesting that has not been done before, you know, is it black metal? Yeah. You know, it's it's that thing. So I think it's it, it's very hard for a, a younger band that's you know not 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 make great music, but to to have that impact, you know, because it's kind of been done before. So it's like. Uh, I guess you would have to take that like it's you know there's 70s prog music and you can get influenced by that but you can choose to sound like that or you can take that mindset yeah. and push it into something new okay so so uh, for me to be like super excited about it mm -hmm. it will probably be you know an extension of what we associate with black people okay well uh, the last question mm, I've got to ask it Although I think I know the answer, but uh, plans for Emperor. Are there any plans of the new music or concerts? Yeah. Yeah, concerts, yeah. There, there are some plans for doing yeah. some more shows. And we, we've reached that point where... You can just pick whatever you want. Yeah, basically. And, it, and it's also in such fr friendly terms, you know, that there, to be honest, there are so many things that we turn down just because we have all, all the priorities, you know, and... and uh, uh, but it's a huge privilege to be able to do occasional shows when when we are able to and when everybody feels like it you know but there's kind of no pressure either yeah. way you know so it's just something that uh, uh, yeah we we uh, we feel very pri privileged to be in that position and that we get to play these amazing shows you know yeah. these big festivals or what have you and uh, I think it's so important for just enjoy it, no pressure. Yeah, for 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 us as uh, as as friends and you know having that history together, me and Samuel, for example, and, you know, to to just have that um, understanding that it's it's just really a celebration of what we for some reason managed to to do together. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy and beautiful. Thank you so much for your time, Isha. Thank you. Greatly for appreciate it. Uh, Ishan from Metal Shop TV. Uh, check out Amr. Eto Namert. See you next time.